right guys, so we just reached Arches National Park and the weather's not that great. We're really hoping that the sun will come out for us so we can show you guys how these filters work. What's up, what's going on guys? Welcome to Archers National Park. So in our last video, we talked about how you can use the ND filters to capture that really smooth motion blur in your photos. Well, the same thing goes for videography where we can use those ND filters to capture that motion blur in moving subjects or objects that you're shooting. The first one we're gonna check out is a double arch. Today we're gonna shoot with the ND8 and the ND16. We're gonna have Kirsten walk up to the double arch and I'm gonna shoot at 60 frames per second with a low aperture so we can have a shallow depth of field. We're also gonna go to 1 1 20th shutter speed so it doubles our frame rate. All right, so we got our GH5 with our quartz sign ND16 on. You ready to go shoot? Let's do it. So the ND16 that we used in the last scene allowed us to open up the aperture so we have a shallow depth of field while Kirsten was walking around the arches. Now we're gonna drop down to an ND8 so we can close down the aperture so we can have the background more in focus. So with the ND8 on, I'm enabling myself to drop my aperture to 5.6 so I can have a deeper depth of field while Kirsten's walking around and I still keep my double frame rate at 1 1 20th. <laughs> Pretty sick, huh? All right, so we got some really great shots. We're gonna head out of here and hit up another arch. Super cold, let's get out of here. All right guys, so we just reached Sand Dune Arch and the lighting's still pretty bad. So we're gonna have to use the ND16 and the ND8 depending on how lit up the arch is gonna be. We're still gonna be aiming for the 180 degree rule of shutter, but instead of shooting at 60 frames per second, we're gonna be shooting at the cinematic 24 frames per second and then my shutter speed's gonna be at 150th. Are you ready, Kirsten? I'm ready. Are you guys ready? You guys ready? Let's go. So originally we were going to use an ND64 PL to reduce the glare from the sun bouncing off the sandstone rocks, but obviously the light's very limiting at the spot, so we're going to use lighter ND filters over here. Let's go to Skyline. Dude. <laughs> Thank you. 
right guys, it looks like the sun's out and it's not snowing anymore. It looks like a perfect time for us to use the ND64PL. We got Skyline Arch over there. So this is one of the few arches that sits on the horizon line to where you can actually see the skyline through, hence the name. And it looks like we're in a pretty good spot where we can get some cinematic gold. So let's go ahead and get set up and try to get some shots over here. I'm still going to be shooting at 24 frames per second with the ND64PL, but I also want to follow the 180 degree rule of shutter, so my shutter speed is going to be at 150th. The cool thing about the ND64PL is that it allows me to saturate the sky and darken it while I'm exposing for the foreground. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a little bit on how to use your ND filters while shooting your video content. If you want to learn more, be sure to join us on our next adventure when we show you guys how to use those ND filters and capture some really stunning time lapses. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Well, it's Migs and Kirsten with Polar Pro signing out. Now get off that screen, grab your camera, go out there and capture perfection. Peace.